Hi folks. Um, this is a video about modifications to the Mono Price 5 watt amp, which is also the same as the Laney Cub 8. Uh, there's a video on YouTube, and it's down in the in the description below, uh, where a guy is saying for a dollar you can do this amazing modification on this amplifier, and uh, his idea is right in terms of replacing uh, the negative feedback resistor with something to allow um, less negative feedback so the amp will have more distortion, more gain. But he ended up telling people to change the wrong resistor. He also suggested replacing it with a potentiometer. The reason why I know it's wrong is because I followed his instructions and ended up blowing up a couple of diodes and the power supply on the amp. So I'm going to show you um, what he did that's wrong and then show you what can be done to actually do it. Uh, alter the, uh, make an adjustable feedback thing. Okay, so The, in the video, the, let me see if I can find a tool here handy, enough to point, okay. We're not plugged in, so I don't have to worry about anything, there's no voltage. But, right here, back here, with the light shining on it, is a small printed circuit board. can't focus on that. Shh. Okay. And normally the um, external speaker jack is on that board. Now if you'll notice there's some brown wires leading over that. Um, I'm, uh, I'm using the amp as a head. I took it out of its cabinet. So uh, I moved I moved the um, jack. But um, Anyhow, the maker of that video said that you want to change this right down here is a 220 ohm, a gray 220 ohm resistor that he somehow got, became convinced is the negative feedback resistor, um, which is way too little anyways, and uh, it's not part of that circuit. It's actually, according to the electrical engineer that repaired my amp, it's actually a sort of a fail-safe, uh, the resistor is a fail-safe. It's in parallel to the speaker, and just in case the speaker fails, I guess it keeps the load on the amp so you don't blow out the power section. But anyhow, the actual resistor, and I don't know if we can focus or not, Gonna try. No, it doesn't want to focus. Let's back off. Little, there you go. Then you can see probably. Okay. Right here, you can see this wire, which is where the modificate, proper modification was done. The two leads of this wire and uh, the, the, these wires, which is connected to a 50K potentiometer, ends up at R22 in the circuit. R22 in this circuit is a um, 33K resistor. Let's just see what happens. Uh, uh, no, it does not want to get any sharper than that. But anyway, R22 normally goes here. It's a surface mount uh, component. So unless you're uh, somewhat experienced in working with surface mount components, you're going to have to have somebody else do the modification. Um, I mean, it's relatively simple. All you have to do is remove the resistor and then solder the end sound to the pads, but it takes some experience. But do not replace this resistor with a potentiometer because um, 
I blew up a couple diodes doing that. So that's the uh, this is a proper way to get a adjustable negative feedback uh, on this amp and also on the mono price uh, five watt and also the Laney Cub eight. It's the same amp. Um, it's R22 in all the circuits, and um, do not change that other one. I hope this helps. Thanks.